In this short video, you will learn mental toughness tips that I shared with a group of wrestlers right before they went out to compete in their tournament. And they won as a team by one point. So what is mental toughness anyway? Well, there is no standard definition of it, but I've come up with one and it comes down to this. Focused, confident, determined, and resilient. Resilient basically means being able to bounce back. Now, is that useful for wrestling and the rest of your life? Yeah. All right, that's what I'm all about. Why work on the mental game other than to get these specifics? Well, one, here's the real, the real benefit. Every single screw up, every single choke, every single mistake you've ever made in wrestling or outside of life, you can trace back to the mental game. Coaches, and rightly so, will always tell you, you know, you got to work hard. Success is working hard. Absolutely. I'm right along with that. What, is it, what if your mental game is not there? What if you don't have determination? Are you going to work hard? What if you're not motivated? Are you going to work hard? What if you really just um, have some underlying beliefs that say, you know, I can't do this. This guy's better than me. Are you going to work hard? No. Literally, your muscles will be weakened by your mind, and you will not perform at your potential. So that brings us to the formula for optimum performance. Performance equals your potential minus your interference. So this is what we're mainly going to talk about here today. Is you guys already have a potential. It's here right now, and it can expand. Every time you learn a new skill, even what you're learning from me today, that explodes and expands your potential. The only difference is getting rid of this interference, whether you're going to play to your potential or not, and what kind of performance that will result in today. Here's the first interference that we need to start tackling. It's belief. Belief in yourself. Now, lots of coaches will go out there and say, you got to believe in yourself. How many of you guys have heard that? Right, right. What does that mean? Who wants to volunteer an answer? What is belief? Yeah. Confident. Confidence. What is, it's more specifically, believing in yourself. Knowing that you're going to win. Knowing that you're going to win. That's fabulous. Fabulous. How do you get there? Have you ever been there? you ever get that feeling like you, you just know you're going to win this one? Okay. When you Sometimes. beat it before. What's that? When you beat the When you've won it before. That's a great one. That's, a, that's fabulous. We're going to confidence. Absolutely. So I actually did an interview with... Um, one of the top sports psychologists in the country he works with tennis players. And he said, I don't know any other way to get confidence other than to have past success. And I said, what? Well, what if you've never had past success? We don't come out of the womb with success. We create it from somewhere, right? So this is what I really want you guys to believe. You can create your own sex success from scratch, out of nowhere. Now, how do you do that? It's really simple. Start with what it is that you do well. Here's what we do as human beings, and especially athletes. We talk to ourselves, we tell ourselves what we don't do well. And we hear these voices in our head all the time. Well, I'm not good at this mood. Well, I'm not good away on visiting. I'm not as good as that guy. That guy pinned me last time. He owns me. We, those are the kind of things we tell ourselves. What you need to do is tell yourself what you're good at far more often. It needs to be 10 to 1. Because I work with a lot of parents when I'm working with athletes. And maybe you guys uh, can uh, recognize this in uh, parents or parents that you know. We're real good at telling our kids what, we, what they don't do right and what we want them to do, correct? Yeah. yeah. So you got parents that are like that. You, we as parents, and you as your own parent of yourself, it needs to be 10 to 1. You're great versus the one you know you need improvement on. It needs to be 10 to 1. Make sure to go to teenmentaltoughness.com to get a free Master the Pressure guided visualization and an ebook for parents, The 10 Commandments for Great Sports Parents. Click on the link in the description below and I'll see you in the winner's circle.